Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. All right, Joe. Hey, um, I'm not. I don't. I'm not using my usual um, greetings today, right? Because this message is for the men. Who follow this channel, right? Fellas, I don't mind you being over here. I really don't. And if you got something like really constructive to say, I don't mind that. But one thing I'm finding, I'm having to let people know that this is oh, the channel where I'm addressing women. Right? This ain't this ain't another uh this ain't like another version of my men's channel like i'm very clear on my men's channel i'm addressing um uh, men's issues particularly how to uh, you know help men get through life whether it's sexual business whatever right this channel is i'm helping good women out there let me be very clear I know a lot of people want to talk about what women are doing. They doing this wrong. They doing that and all of that. And that's cool. But you got other channels for it. What I found out here, man, there's a lot of men. There are so many good women, like genuinely good women. You know, nah, they ain't Instagram models or anything like that. But shoot, they good. They want to be good wives. They want to be in a relationship. They will have a dude's back. You know? You don't have to ask these women to let you be the man. They're going to expect you to be the man, right? They, these women ain't, you know, they, and these women ain't pick me. I hope they not. You know, just, just press for a man because a pick me, if she press for a man, she's going to sh uh, switch up as soon as she get him. And the women on here aren't gold diggers, you know. The women on here aren't ratchets. They just good women. And some of, hey, some of them are married and they like what I'm saying. But a lot of them, they just want a de decent dude. Right. And so that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm saying, look, this is from the perspective of what those decent dudes want in a woman. Right. The thing this channel is not is not another place for you to vent. It really isn't. It, it, this ain't another thing or for you to go in on women. Now, I've had to delete comments. And I, I said before in a video that even if you somebody who real I'm real cool with on other channels, you come with some fuck shit. Or something, I'll delete it. You know, like I had one cat, you know, he on here talking about him, him, him. And I'm like, dude, this ain't the place for it. You know, or saying, well, yeah, I've had some other cats and I've been kind of nice to some cats. They'll be like, you know, talking about themselves and stuff. And I'm like, uh, dude, this ain't the place. Do it on my other channel. This ain't someplace else because you got some dudes, you know, got had so many issues with women. Any chance they get to go in on women, they're going to take it. This ain't the place for it. Because my thing is, if you if you having trouble with women, one, you got to look at yourself. Two, you got to differentiate. It ain't all women doing everything. Even if you think it is, that means the ones you encounter. Right. But this ain't the place. I'm trying to I'm trying to help out the women. And, you know, like I say, if you got some constructive or you want to add something and it's constructive, it can empower women, good women. Boom. See, understand this ain't and just understand somebody might say, well, how you have one for men, and one for women. Men and women need each other, man. Men and women, ultimately, we got to figure out how to get together. Because let's not pretend. See, we got to stop. Like, you got women talking about they can be by themselves. Men talking about they can be by themselves. Stop lying. We are biologically built to come together. <laughs> and shoot, we are psychologically built to come together. So we need to stop faking with that. I ain't going to fake on here. So my thing on here is, all right, ladies. You know, because I get a lot of women. They, I, I get a lot of women privately. I've had... <laughs> I say about a third of my coaching clients are women, right? You know, and it's always a case of, well, what can I do? And these ain't, like I said, these ain't bad women. They ain't on some evil shit. They just want a decent dude. So I, that's what I'm doing, right? And I'm doing it, actually. See, one thing, men should want me 
to do this without any like having to like worried about any comments going on with me because this actually benefits the hard working dudes out there. Because I know there's a lot of men they ain't, they ain't trying to be players. Y'all ain't trying to be players. You know, you ain't trying to be players. You trying to do what's right. You trying to make a difference. You just want you ain't even like just want a woman just for sex. You want sex because you're normal, but you want you want somebody you want a companion. And I've met plenty of dudes like that, right? At the same time, met plenty of women. They just they look they want a real relationship. You know, we want that guy they can talk to, hang out with, and of course have sex with. You know. Yeah, there's some women on some fuck shit out here, but you know what? There's plenty of other channels and stuff to deal with it. I'm about helping. I'm about working with some women to grow. And I'm telling, and I'm talking to them. I'm talking to them like their brother, their uncle, that elder. And I'm giving them that perspective. See, understand one thing with me. I don't have a problem doing that. Because a lot of information that I give to men actually came from women. And had women, they just told me the real deal. I had a lot of women just be brutally honest with me growing up. Brutally honest. And they ain't miss anything. They ain't say, they never, I've never had one woman tell me, like any woman I took uh, advice from, tell me, like, oh, yeah, all these women are good out here. They told me good and bad. In fact, I've had older, I've had women, like, grab me up if they saw me even talking to some, like, low-class woman. I mean, literally, I've had women just grab me and they were just like, nah, I don't mess with her, right? You know, I remember one time, this is a woman, because I, I, I coached her son in soccer and she saw this uh, trashy woman talking to me. <laughs> and she don't know that trashy woman that like, gave me a hand job, but she was like, nah, mom, you, you don't have to mess with her. You yeah, don't mess with her. Nah, nah, she the neighbor. Uh, the term, she didn't say neighborhood hoe, but she said it in nice ways, like a polite way. But she basically said this was a neighborhood hoe, right? <laughs> so, I mean, look, look, you want to allow me the chance to give that information back, right? You know, so this, you know, and I'm just going to say, I'm just going to say it is to the point where if I see the type of comment and I don't feel like it's the type of comment that's really helping women and it's a more self-serving comment, I'm deleting it. I'm just going to delete it. You know, let the women have their space over here. You know, let's build up instead of us complaining about these ratchet women, these like women doing all their stuff or their bad stuff, you know, instead of complaining about whatever fuckery they got. Why don't we, my thing is, why don't we empower the good ones? And that's what I'm doing. Empowering the good ones. So what I'm going to ask is, it's like, look, remember that. Remember when you over here, all right? You don't have to go in on women. No, no sneak disses or anything to the women, all right? You know? It need to be constructive, right? Anything you got to say needs to be constructive. You don't need to be about yourself or what problems you're having or another space for you to go in on women. It's like we're not going to do that. Because here's, here's the thing with that. There's a lot of women, like I say, a lot of women out there, you talk to them, they don't really want to be associated really with the other ones. Women, they really don't. But at the same time, you know, people will say, well, how don't they speak up? Well, you got women on YouTube, especially, that do speak up against some of the fuckery, right? So it's my thing is, all right, I'm going to let y'all do that. I'm going to tell y'all from, I'm going to tell y'all, like, like I said, their brother, their uncle, their elder, what's up? So anyway, right, that's all I have for today, y'all. I'll talk to y'all later. Peace and blessings.